Interscope Records called me, uh, their VP of Publicity, Lori Earl, called and said, I've got this artist, I'd love you to work with him, come over. And they had the Brenda's Got a Baby video, but it didn't have the sound synced. And all I saw were the images, and the images were so powerful, um, I thought, I really gotta work with this kid. And uh, I didn't initially know, remember, and I got home that day, and a girlfriend of mine from that period of my life called, and I said, you know, I signed this kid today. I'm listening to this record. He reminds me so much of us in the 70s when we were just so this, and we were going to change the world. And I said, his name is Tupac Shakur. And as I said it, it, like, came back to me. I thought, oh, my God, I couldn't believe it. It was, for me, like God telling me I was exactly in the right place doing exactly what I was supposed to be doing. I was going to meet him the next day. He was doing, he was with Digital Underground. They were taping a television show at CBS TV City out here in the Valley. And I knew I was going to look really weird when I saw him. So I called his manager, Atrin Gregory, who I'd never met. And he said, oh, you're the independent publicist. I said, yeah, but I kind of have this story. And um, I told him, and he was kind of blown away. So the next day, I went out. I'm walking from my car to this trailer. And Tupac is sitting outside the trailer. He's got headphones on, and he's reading a script, and he doesn't see me and stopped me. He was the spitting image of his father at that age. They couldn't pass each other in the street without stopping. And when I asked him, his biography that Interscope had <clears throat> said that his father was dead. Um, so I asked him, um, did, did Atrin tell you that, you know, you, that I've met you before, that I, your mother used to bring you to visit some friends of mine because I didn't think it was my place to say that to him. And he said no, and we talked, and his manager was really cool. I was so in awe of the young man he had become and to just hadn't seen him since he was about four. We spent, I planned to spend an hour out there. I think I was there for about eight or nine hours. Um, and we just sat and talked, and that was how we kind of got back together again. But I didn't say anything to, his, to him at that time about that I knew his, father, his natural father. Pac was hesitant about meeting him, and I think that was fear. He was a young man, he was in his early 20s. He was trying to find his way as a man, but when he was shot in New York, um, Billy went to see him, and that's the first time they began to have a, a bonding relationship. 